Hey guys, my name is Ian, aka IP Media, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cool content to wear fill. We're going to start off by duplicating the layer. From here, we're going to right click it, and we're going to pre compose this layer. This will be our first rotoscoped layer. Follow along closely. I'm going to name them. I like to scrub through just to kind of see what I'm working with. I'll go up, I'll grab the roto brush, get a nice little paint going on them, fix it up, and always freeze it. I will never stop saying this. From here, we're going to duplicate the bottom layer again. We're going to create another pre composed layer. Here is going to be our inverted rotoscope. I'm going to name it so you guys can remember. We're going to go into this one, drag it up top. For the time being, we'll go in and we'll start rotoscoping this one. Same thing, but here we're going to invert the layer, freeze it again, and from here. We're going to turn off all the layers' eyeballs except for the top layer. You should have something like this. And this is the only way you're going to be able to get content aware to work. You can do it other ways, but you have to have it like this for it to fill in the background. We're going to go into Content Aware Fill and always have it on Object for this effect. You can mess with the expansion a little bit, kind of play with it. I would say keep it above 20 if you want something decent. We'll go into here and you're going to click generate fill layer. It's going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it for this effect. From here, it's going to generate a layer that's going to fill in your background and take the person out of it essentially. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. It might take a while. From here, you should get this. It'll take the person or the subject out of the frame. From here, we're going to go into our layers panels and we're going to turn on all the eyeballs. We're going to take our roto layer and drag it above the content aware fill. From here, I'm going to go into my transform and keyframe the opacity on the first frame. We're going to go from zero all the way back up to 100, right before the very last frame, a couple frames before maybe. Play around with it. I personally am going to easy ease this. And from here, you should get a really smooth transition like this. Now that we've done that one, we'll now try this effect. Watch closely at what I do with the layers. We're going to grab the top roto layer and we're going to pre compose it. We're going to make sure we move all attributes into this layer. From here, I'm going to grab the rectangle mask. It's a little bit easier for this effect. I'm going to mask around him. I'm going to go into the properties and I'm going to change the feather ever so slightly. And then I'm going to keyframe the mask path on the first frame. And I'm going to take my mask and drag it all the way down. And then I'm going to go up a few frames. Doesn't matter how many, you can kind of mess with it. And from here, I'm going to drag it all the way back up to the top. And you should start getting something like this, like he's appearing out of nowhere. From here. You can play it from the beginning, and you get something like this. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I made this tutorial easy for you guys. Have a great rest of your day.